Rita Tinina, KTN News. Meanwhile, 45 governors will be sworn into office on Thursday as tomorrow in a, just a few hours. And uh, this will be in line with the provisions of the assumption of office of the governor. Now, the public ceremony will be presided over by court judges as gazetted by the Chief Justice Martha Kome. It was a beehive of activity in major venues where the ceremony will be taking place. KTN's political affairs reporter Daniel Kariuki now reports. These were the preparations in various county headquarters where swearing in ceremony for governors elect would take place. The Assumption of Office of Governor Act 2012 stipulates that governors elect will be sworn in on the first day after the 10th day following the declaration of the final results by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC. The event will be taking place in 45 counties except Kakamega and Mombasa, where gubernatorial races were postponed by IEBC. In Nairobi County, all is set for the swearing-in ceremony of Johnson Sakaja as the fourth governor of the county. The event will take place at the KICC grounds. In Tharakanithi County, Governor-elect Muthomi Njoki, who was elected for a second term, will take an oath of office alongside his deputy, Wilson Nyaga, at Kathanwa Stadium. We are expecting around uh, 10,000 people tomorrow, and we expect them to be seated as early as uh, 8 a.m. Nakuru County, Afra Stadium was a beehive of activity as preparations for the swearing in of Susan Keheka as the new Nakuru chief were underway. Na tunatarajia karibu watu elfu kumi hivi, namba watakuja kushudia. The preparations for the swearing in of the Garissa governor-elect Nathi Ujama and his deputy-elect Abdi Dagane at the Garissa primary school grounds were at advanced stage. <laughs> Muranga governor-elect Irungo Kangata is said to be sworn in at Ihora Stadium in Muranga Town, while Mutahi Kagwe of Nyeri will be sworn in at the Asian Quarters in a ceremony to be attended by Deputy President-elect Riga Vigashagwa. The good thing in Nyeri is that uh, it's continuous. Among those to be sworn in are seven women elected as governors. They are Kwale County Governor Fatuma Achani, Gladys Wanga of Homabe County, Susan Kiheka of Nakuru County, Wavinyandeti of Machakos County, Kawira Mwangaza of Meru, Cecil Mbarire, who was elected as the second Embu governor, and Anu Iguro, who will be serving her second term. Also to be sworn in are those governors that have bounced back after they lost the election in 2017. They include Kenneth Lusaka of Bungoma, Isa Timami of Lamu, Benjamin Cheboi, Joshua Irongo of Laikipia, and Julius Malombe of Kitui. The events are scheduled to take place between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. and will be presided over by a high court judge gazetted by Chief Justice Matakome. It's all systems go for the swearing in of the governors elect and the deputy governors elect across the 45 counties in the country. However, focus shifts to the task ahead as they seek to deliver on the mandate as they promised during their campaigns. Daniel Karioki, KTN News, Nairobi. Uh, meanwhile, the newly elected members of parliament affiliated to the Kenya Kwanzaa.